Bean Delulu is in fact the Salulu, and this is coming from someone who doesn't care if the glass is half empty, half full, but just wants to drink the water. I'm a practical minded girl, I always have been, but I still practice delusional thinking when appropriate to get everything that I want in life. What's up baddies? My name is Rima and you are now tuned in to the Arab and Thriving show. When I was manifesting these things in my life, I had no idea what being Delulu was. I didn't even know what the word manifesting meant. But when I look back on the way that I was behaving and thinking, I very much so was practicing the law of assumption and even the law of attraction. The two areas of my life that I have manifested so seamlessly and just like effortlessly really is finding my husband and moving into my dream apartment the two areas of my life that I'm currently manifesting that have historically felt really challenging for me is my body goals and my career goals the recurring thread in what made two parts of this successful and seamless for me and then the other two parts rocky and turbulent all boils down to my level of certainty and whether i was actually sure that i could achieve those things i'm just oh my god okay let me let me just get started for whatever reason growing up i always believed i would find my husband i've never like questioned whether i would find someone of course i questioned when and whatever but i wasn't pressed about it and i think because i had this strong certainty that i would meet someone and have a loving healthy relationship i wasn't in a rush the second thing was by the time i was born my parents did have money my parents are immigrants they immigrated to the states from lebanon they both were pretty much broke when they came here but by the time that i was born my parents were in their 30s and had established themselves and were able to make a living where we felt super comfortable because i grew up with that i think i've always found it very easy to envision a future where i live in a beautiful home there almost wasn't like a plan for it like in my mind i just knew it would happen even though i like majored in english in college and became a teacher after college for a little like there was just never a doubt in my mind that i was going to have that when i really 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 think about the things that have come seemingly easily to me it boils down to the level of certainty that i had that i was a good match to those things and that i would one day eventually be able to get it at the time of recording this video i'm 31 years old and i have officially spent over half of my life trying to lose weight sometimes successfully but even then losing the weight but not being able to keep it off when i look at other people's journeys i see a lot of women in this space talk about manifesting the dream house manifesting the husband maybe even manifesting the body too but I'm, I'm talking about the people who are trying to manifest the things that i've manifested and it dawned on me some of us have different challenges in our life that we see as like the least accessible thing and i do have a lot of friends that i grew up with who were highly stressed about whether they would find a person whether they'd meet their match whether they'd find a good guy that they could raise a family with whether it would be too late for them to be able to have kids by that time and all of that i realized that that thing for me was my body like it seems so straightforward it seems like calories in calories out it seems like just work out more than you eat whatever right to me it has always felt up until recently inaccessible and it feels the way i imagine some people feel about building a wealthy lifestyle or being with someone that they love and who's their companion and i just thought that that was so interesting because i'm like man like i can relate to how they feel about that thing because of how i feel about this thing the other thing is my career i've always known i could build a successful career but truly deeply inside i've always wanted a career as a content creator as someone who can just literally monetize my personality and be a serial entrepreneur with no limits to what it is that I can create. There were so many blocks in me being sure that that was for me that I had to work on this year. And that's why this is the first year of my life. Definitely not the first year of my life that I've created content. I've been creating content for over 10 years. This is the first year of my life that I'm seeing my audience grow steadily. Like it's just the steady growth and I don't feel worried about it the way that I used to. I told this story on TikTok and it's my favorite story because I think a lot of times in the manifestation, law of attraction, law of assumption, whatever space, and this is my issue with that space, things just feel very mystical like you just have this 
thought and then suddenly the next day your vision board is your reality that's like so not how it works it's so annoying because it doesn't make things feel accessible for people and my hope is that you really hear this and you understand exactly how accessible and practical this is this isn't some cute slogan on tiktok about being delulu and how i'm a delulu girl like okay it's cute but it's also deeply practical so the story that i told was on j cole's album sideline story there's this one part of the album where he talks about the day that he got signed and it's one of my freaking favorite stories because it's just a great story but also because it's literally something we can apply to our life j cole got signed to rock nation that's jay-z's label he's the first artist signed to rock nation that night he's literally driving in the car with his friends they're celebrating, they're lit, they're happy. And he had been driving for over a year with like expired plates, whatever. But that night, the cops pulled him over, okay? And he tells the story about like, we just see the cop and we hear the woo woo. Basically, he has to spend that night in jail. And the way he describes that night in jail was just like, bro, I'm at, I'm in jail and nobody here knows that I'm about to be like the next big thing because I just got signed to Rock Nation. And he literally describes it as the easiest night in jail anyone could have ever done because in his mind it's like yeah i'm in jail but i don't care because when i come out of this this like this thing is already locked and loaded it's already signed sealed and delivered so it doesn't matter how crazy this one night is i'm going to come out of this and there's going to be greatness on the other side so it just completely shifted the way that he lived what is arguably one of the worst things specifically for a black man to experience is spending getting pulled over getting put in jail for a night that should have been horribly traumatizing for him but instead it was just kind of this funny irony of like nobody knows who i'm about to be this is going to be a great story one day that is the energy that i have with my life right now that is the energy that i want you to have i know that in that example there was a lot of built-in certainty. He already got signed. He already knew that he was only spending one night in jail. So you would argue maybe that it was easy for him to inject himself with that positivity or that like silver lining way of thinking because he knew that he's coming out of this thing to something great. But I would argue that you can inject yourself with that same level of delusional certainty. Like just imagine what you want your life to be like and be certain that that's what it's going to be because what ends up happening and what a lot of us don't realize it's not that god just loves me more and that's why i did end up finding the love of my life it's not that god just favors me and that's why i'm living in a beautiful high rise it's because i always behaved in a way that was positive that those things would happen even delusionally did i think that the way that i would stumble upon a beautiful living situation is by getting married and then moving all the way across the states to LA like no I didn't but I didn't really care how it would happen because that's the other part about it when you're certain and you're positive that great things are ha are going to happen for you not only do you behave in a way that attracts those great things throughout your day but you kind of like let go of the way that it needs to happen they always talk in the manifestation space of like the how is none of your business and i never understood what that meant until i thought about this i'm like yeah i don't really care how it happened i don't care if i moved in by myself i don't care if i moved to a different country and lived in a beautiful place like i just didn't i didn't feel attached to the way that it needed to happen i didn't feel attached to the way that i would meet my husband or just any of the intricacies of how it worked out because I just trusted that this thing was going to work out and I trusted God so I just didn't feel the need to control it. If we apply this to what I shared earlier, my career and my weight loss journey, that certainty was the thing that was missing. I would start some sort of regimen, whether it was like hiring a trainer, going hard, like there were times baddies i kid you not there were times i was working out religiously and even doing two a days and tracking my calories i had all the certainty right in front of me but i still doubted whether it would work for me because i had all of these toxic stories in my head of like but your body's just not built like this and your body's not designed like this and so it's just not gonna happen for you and so what ended up happening even with the most certain possible plan that i could adhere to i burnt out because i didn't trust god i didn't trust the plan the process whatever and i felt the need to try to control every little thing even if that plan was a winning plan i made it a losing plan because i gave up too early i just couldn't trust anything in front of me it felt so emotionally and spiritually draining you might feel that way about dating you might be like i don't know if i'm gonna ever find a good guy and so not only do you show up on these dates 
dates or in these conversations guarded, but you are probably indirectly attracting the wrong person that just reaffirms that story to you. That's what we don't realize and that's what people don't get about the law of attraction. It's not just this mystical thing. It's the idea that what you believe literally shapes the way that you show up and the energy that you give and people are going to respond to that energy. If you walk in a room, like you're gonna be the next big thing and nobody has any idea, just like how J. Cole mentioned that in jail, you're gonna attract different conversations. You're gonna attract different energy. And that's where I'm realizing like the power to be certain about where my life is going was always within me. Not only do I not need other people to validate whether things are gonna happen for me the way that I want them to, but even in the case where things did validate it like I'm on my fitness pal and I'm freaking plugging in my calories and it says in five weeks you will be x pounds if you do every day like today like I had literal proof that things were working but because of my own self-doubt and decision to not be sure about that what I was seeing I was negating truth when it was right in front of me that's what a lot of us don't realize the power is literally in our brains to decide if we want to be sure about a future or not. That's what I want you to think through and that's what delusional thinking really is at its core. It's just the idea that if you decide today that you're going to be like broke, single and unhappy in 10 years, the path that you take is going to inevitably be different. The way your compass is going to be wired is going to inevitably be different because of that belief system. But if with no evidence or whatever, you decide to be delusional and that you're going to be with the most amazing person you're going to live a wealthy abundant life and whatever you whatever it is that you want to put on your vision board if you just literally today even with no proof decide to be delusional enough to think that the identity you're going to unlock and the energy you're going to bring to your life every day is going to bring you closer to that if not to that even if it doesn't bring you to the exact thing that you say you want in my experience it literally brings you to something better i just want you to think about what is it that i want what is it that i want if in two weeks my whole life could potentially change and be different like what do i want that to look like and what identity do i need to embody delusional or not today to help me get to that place how can i tap into certainty how can i make myself sure that i'm going to get that thing so that the way that you show up basically creates that certainty every single step of the way i love you so 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 much this is something i want to keep talking about because i just want to demystify the law of attraction and manifestation i think it could be so mystical and it really doesn't need to be because inherently it's very practical also i think it's kind of a vibe that we started this with light outside and now it's like basically pitch black it's kind of a vibe i love you so much let me know if you have any questions about this or if there are any other topics related to this that you want to hear me talk about and i will see you on the next one